some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so in case you haven't been following along, my lovely senator right here in South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, has decided he's going to throw his two cents in the ring about the whole war between Russia and Ukraine. And he's got some typical Lindsey Graham ideas on what should be happening. Uh, if you haven't seen what he said on Twitter, I'm going to put it up on the screen. I'm going to read it off to you here. He says on Twitter, Is there a Brutus in Russia? Is there a more successful Colonel Stauffenberg in the Russian military? The only way this ends is for somebody in Russia to take this guy out. You would be doing your country and the world a great service. Now, the, the less talked about tweet is the one he followed that up with, which is the only people who can fix this are the Russian people. Easy to say, hard to do, unless you want to live in darkness for the rest of your life, be isolated from the rest of the world in abject poverty, and live in darkness, you need to step up to the plate. So what, what is Lindsay trying to say there? I mean, this is, this is a typical neocon war hawk type of thing, right? First of all, he is calling for the people of another country to assassinate their person that's in charge. Okay, their, their president, okay? He's calling for that. Now, I know there's going to be people who say, well, there's this and there's that with the Russian elections, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not in Russia. The guy's been elected, and from what I can understand, it sounds like he's a little more popular with his people than the members of Congress are with us, right? So, I, I look, I've never been to Russia. I haven't spoke to anyone there on the ground. I'm going to give that full disclaimer, but... Ultimately, Lindsay, and this is what I said on Twitter, could you imagine if someone from another country, if some other country's politician had called for someone in our country to do that to Bush or Cheney? This is exactly what I retweeted and said. I said, imagine if another country's politician said this about Bush or Cheney for the invasion of Iraq that was based on a lie. This guy, this guy right here, would be at the front of the line attacking them for saying it. I guess being a Warhawk neocon is only good if we are the Warhawk neocons, right? So that's that. That's how Lindsey Graham thinks. No other country should be a Warhawk. No other country has the right to be a neocon. And you know what? I agree with that. Nobody should be a Warhawk. Nobody should be a neocon. But that goes for us too. We shouldn't be out there sticking our noses into other people's affairs. This guy wants to do it all the time. He backed Bush and Cheney for going into Iraq. He's backed every pretty much military thing that, that Trump did when he was in office. He didn't really fuss about anything Obama did when he was in office. And now he's standing behind all this. Not to mention, this is the same guy who went over in 2016 with John McCain to Ukraine that said, quote, 2017 would be the year of offense. They were going to go back to Washington. They were going to take it to Washington, D.C. To, to, but basically, we want to help you take up an offense against Russia. He said that, it, that it's time for an end to Russian aggression or something like that. And, 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 and look, guys, you got to put this whole thing in context, okay? Lindsey Graham and company all the way back under the Obama administration, these are the same people who backed the idea of going into Ukraine around 2014 or so and committing a coup. They wanted to throw out a democratically elected leader of that country. He was getting along with Putin. They threw the guy out. We backed that coup. The people we backed were the Azov Battalion for the most part. When the dirt started coming out about that, we tried to say we cut funding to them. Really, we never did. Just like everything else we say we stop doing. We never really stop. And the same thing went for that. And these people are not shy about the fact that they are Nazis. So when Putin says he's going in to denazify Ukraine, look, even if you don't want to trust Putin, there's evidence to back up what he's saying. And that's not saying he should invade another country. It's just saying... How can you definitively say he's lying when there's evidence to the claim he's making?
Makes it hard to do, right? There's certainly more evidence to back up what he said than there was evidence to back up why we were going into Iraq. We didn't have evidence for weapons of mass destruction. That was a complete fabrication. When he says that he wants to denazify Ukraine, you can point to examples of Nazi battalions in Ukraine. You can point to that. Even the imagery they use is very similar, as you're going to see on screen, to things like the Aryan Nation... And, and what is it like, like the, the wolf's angel, I believe, from, from Nazi Germany, right? They're using Nazi symbolism. I'm even going to put up on screen right here. USA Today has admitted that this group was started by white supremacists. There was an interview done by The Guardian back in what, like 2014, as I'm going to show on screen here, where they say Putin's not even a Russian, he's a Jew. Well, why, why does the fact he's Jewish make a difference. But this, this is who people like Lindsey Graham want to continue to stick their nose in and support. And to make bad matters worse, take into consideration that they're saying that what Putin done was an unprovoked attack. It was unprovoked. That's what you keep hearing. Biden said in the State of the Union, right? I don't think that the United States, the West, or anyone else constantly sticking their nose in meddling with what's going on in Ukraine, which sits right on Russia's border, not to mention the fact that when we committed that coup, the guy that took over after tried to kick Russia out of the Crimea port, was the only warm water port that Russia had access to. That's why they annexed Crimea in the first place. Uh, the Donbass region, about a year later, voted they wanted to join Russia. Putin said no to that at the time, and his original invasion of Ukraine was finally recognizing that the Donbass region can be independent, which they've said they wanted to be for years. Uh, the rest of the Ukrainian government, instead of letting them be independent, wants to bomb them and attack them and shell them and try to whip them back into conform with the standards, right? It's why the, the, the Minsk agreement was made to try to stop all this, and they didn't honor it. They've continued to attack and bomb and hurt those people. So look, if someone stumbles across the video, they want to say, I'm not being patriotic, I'm, I'm, a, I'm treasonous or whatever, you can kiss my ass because I'm patriotic. I want America to take care of the American people. I want our country to take care of our people. We can't take care of our people when we're stirring up hornet's nests all around the world causing trouble. That's not how we take care of our country. That's not how we take care of our problems. And this guy doesn't give a damn about fixing our problems here at home. The only damn thing he cares about is what conflict he can get us involved next. This guy has got empire on the brain and serving his donors on the brain. And it is a shame, it is a shame that we didn't get a better option to vote for in this last election to finally get this guy out of office because I wasn't going to vote for his Democrat alternative. I voted third party, and even that wasn't a, a swell candidate either. We, we didn't even have a libertarian candidate on the ballot to vote for as an opponent to Lindsey Graham. We got a Constitution Party candidate who dropped out before the election and endorsed Lindsey Graham. So we didn't really have much of a choice. So obviously this guy won again which is pretty stomach-turning if you know the history of Lindsey Graham. As a South Carolinian, I have to say, I'm pretty ashamed of the stuff Lindsey Graham has done. But that's what this guy is doing. That's what he's got to say. That's his two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this guy's on to something here? Or do you think this is just more of, of, a, of a big mouthed war hawk trying to gin us up into World War III because his donors love a good war when they see one? What do you think? Let me know in the comment box down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Thank you for tuning in to Lone Wolf Podcast. Hope everyone has a good day. Take care.